We have taken somebody who knew nothing about how to be a firefighter and pushed her to the brink of exhaustion. Oh, you got it. Today it took a lot of teamwork. I wouldn't have been able to get dressed by myself. Teamwork makes the dream work. Final verdict. Could I do this? What influences my gymnastics? Martial arts, musical theater. My mother's a musician, she's a violinist. Oh, and my dad was break dancing back in the day. I've kind of embodied all of their spirits. The dancing, the facial expressions, down to the eyeliner. I really cared about bringing theatrics to my gymnastics. Being as big and bad of a performer that I can be. My name is Marzetta Frazier. I'm a collegiate gymnast. Today, I will be thrust into some elite firefighter training with the U.S. Air Force. This is the biggest and largest fire academy. We train soldiers, sailors, Marines, and Air Force. Today, Mark Zeta is gonna be joining the 312 training squadron as a fire apprentice. We're going to put her through what any student would go through to see if she's ready to be a firefighter. Welcome to Fire Academy. Thank you for having me. You got what it takes to be an Air Force firefighter? I could do that. Let's go. Hollywood does a wonderful job at trying to portray what a real firefighter does. I think she's gonna be really surprised on how heavy the gear is and how physically demanding our job is gonna be. I've always admired military women and their strength. So let's see if I got what it takes. So organized. Yes, I wish my house was this organized. So we're gonna get you sized, we're gonna get you pants. All right, how those feel? These feel really cute. <laughs> Suspenders. Nice. Ooh, right. jacket, matching boots, and the helmet to go with it, <laughs> and some gloves. Can you move finger? All right. Really, as soon as I zipped up the gear, I started getting like the butterflies in my tummy, just that nervous anticipation, like I'm really about to go do something so crazy. Real fire caught me off guard. It was pretty hot. So we've got a blazing fire behind us. You're gonna be operating the P-19 Panther for us. We're gonna fight fire with a truck. The Panther, what kind of name? We were in the Panther fire truck and I got to use the joystick that activated a fire hose on the outside that was mechanical. That was awesome, that was insane. That was really fun. You did really good, Mars. I felt like I was in an action movie. The next step is suppression, working with actual fire and putting the wet stuff on the hot stuff. Are we ready to go pull some large diameter line? Okay, let's go. Go, 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 go. We're going to pull a large diameter hose line and we're gonna connect it to a water source. Come on, we're almost there, let's go. Drop forward, lean forward, and drop it. So now what we gotta do, come on. We gotta go all the way back to the truck. Once we get our water source secured, then we're gonna come over here and we're gonna pull our hose line out as far as we can get it. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Lean forward, stay nice and low. Bend your knees, bend your knees, bend your knees. Once our line is totally charged, then we can go fight fire. And now hold this. Sergeant Duncan's gonna be behind you. She's gonna make sure that you have a good, nice, firm stance. When you're ready, you're gonna slowly open this up. Yeah, there you go. Sit back and forth. Today, it took a lot of teamwork. Ooh, that's good. That's good fire suppression right there. Trying to sweep that heat away. Go ahead, slowly close it down. Here. I was so hot, all I was trying to do was think about how hot I was so that I didn't think about how tired I was. I really want to shout out especially Sergeant Duncan. She was really my backbone, for sure. All right, Mark Zeta. Now we're gonna focus on structural firefighting. Building, it's on fire, we have to go inside and we have to look for life. What really took me out of my comfort zone, forcible entry with the um, crowbar tool. Hit. To pick up an object and hit use it as an extension of my own body. One more hit. That was very challenging for me. Liberating. Now, go inside. Come on over. If we find a life, we have to do a victim removal. The key is use your body weight to your advantage. You can also lock hands like this. Ready, one, two, three. Oh. You got it. Oh. Keep going, keep going, keep going. All the way through. All the way through that finish line. You just drug 175 pounds. That was really hard. Teamwork makes the dream work. All right, Mark Zeta, so welcome to vertical ventilation. All that built up gas and heat. We're trying to get rid of that. Okay, there's one. That was a good stroke. Wielding a firefighter's axe. Like we're cutting butter. All right, we'll take it. I don't, I don't know how you guys let me do that. 
Oh, give me one more. And then pull this whole piece up and out of the way. Then I just punch out any drywall. And now vertical vent complete. We get off the roof. Perfect. Woo! There is an art and a technique to everything. Every fundamental is important. You could think that firefighters just know what to do. It is because they are exceptional students. Today, I really had to lock in on the brief training I was given, and I wanted my mind and my body to be connected. So when it is time to ultimately do the challenge, I'll know exactly what I need to do. All right, ladies, firefighters need to be physically fit, need to be mentally fit. And so we came up with a challenge to put firefighters to the test. Us two, first you two. One last hoorah, let's do it. Woo! We have five objectives. We have the stair climb. We're gonna run up the stairs with the hose. At the top, we're gonna hoist up. Once you get that hose all the way hoisted up, you're gonna take the stairs all the way back down to the bottom. Good job, you did so good. Where you will then hit the sleds, the Kaiser sled. Oh, Lord Jesus! Choke up on him, pop off the Come on, come on! Okay, so after the Kaiser sled, then we're gonna put our fire suppression skills to the test. Like this? There you go, push forward. Grab the hose, bring it all Let's the way go. down. Knock the target down. And then the last event is victim removal. Ready, one, two, three, up. <laughs> that thing was so heavy, I was cramping up. I could just hear support coming around every angle. Just drive back. All you doing is driving back. I had a Sergeant Duncan behind me, she was screaming at me. Breathe, Mars, you got this. That's what helps me get through. I've done plenty of strenuous things in my life. The combat challenge was the hardest physical thing I've ever done. If I had any ounce of doubt, Tech Sergeant Hopkins and Sergeant Duncan, they completely shut it down. I was like, can I do this? They're like, yes, you can do this. I'm like, you're so right. You really have to have confidence in yourself if you're gonna be out here saving lives. We have taken somebody who knew nothing about how to be a firefighter, and we have pushed her to the brink of exhaustion whether it's the military or the Air Force or gymnastics, if you want to be the best, you have to train and work like the best. Can Mark Zeta join the 312 Training Squadron? Could I do this? If you have motivation and determination, anything is possible. Final verdict, yes, I could do that. <laughs>